Today we are out in the countryside and the towns of Essex. We're trying out the Insta360 X2, front mounted and rear mounted to see what kind of angles we can get with it. So this is not going to be a review of the Insta360 X2, but what I can say so far after playing around with it a little bit is that the stabilization is quite good, um, but the picture is still quite grainy when you zoom in a little bit. Now I know the newer models, the X3 and the X4, have a lot better resolution with the 360, and the X2 is only supposed to be HD. Um, there is an option, I believe, I haven't tried it yet, with the X2 that you can just have it in one position looking at you rather than the 360 and I understand from that that the image quality is a lot better but I've yet to try it out so in this video I've just got it following me and I also have some other shots where the the actual X2 is in front of me looking back at me um, so the audio quality is not great because the X2 does pick up a lot of wind noise um, I don't know how to get rid of that really unless I wrap it in a furry sock of some sort but I'm gonna just play a little bit of music over it because the, the wind noise is a bit irritating uh, but I'll just put some highlights of the Adventures of Essex for you to enjoy.
So that was my ride out into the Essex countryside. If you do have an Insta 360, regardless of whether it's an X2 or X3, and you know of some good angles, that some good quality shots, I want to be able to ride around. So I don't want it sticking out the side of the bike, but any you know suggestions you've got it really helped me out if you can just post in the comments below and let me know if you like my material please uh, give us a thumbs up if you don't give us a thumbs down um, but if you want to see more then click subscribe and i will see you next